My father told me once that the good and the evil have no end. I never understood a lot of things about him. I thought that all fathers were like him and all sons were like me. You want some coffee? What is bothering you? You know what's bothering me. I'm thinking about them. It's a tough time for them. It is strange how people change before death. Until yesterday... Please stop, George. Don't be so cynical. Don't you think about your mother, at least, how she must feel now with her, her husband seriously ill in the hospital and a son refusing to see him? You know, the other day she was crying on the phone. I know. She was crying again today when I talked to her. Anyway, what can I do now? Maybe I'll go. After the film is over. What film are you talking about? You haven't started it yet. Don't do it now. Can't, Effie. You know that. I lose the grant. Besides, I haven't done a film in two years now. It, it feels strange, you know? Well, how do I explain all this to your mother the next time she calls? She wouldn't understand. The small town was peaceful, like always. The father spent most of his time in his shop, even though business was slow. Business was always slow. Maybe that's why he was always upset. I don't remember how he laughed. 
He had a, a serious look. You came to help or you came to fight? I'm leaving. So? You decided. This is too small for you. The town is small. I don't know what you want. Talked about it. I did my best for this family. You didn't do your best for me. You didn't even pay attention to me, so now I'm going to go do my own thing. And what do you want to do? You want to be an actor? Ha! My son, she wants to be an actor. These stupid things are not for us. These things are for women. Of arguing with you. That's all we ever do. You humiliate the whole family. Everybody's gonna laugh. Well, that's all you care about is this stupid neighborhood. Keep your voice down. No, I'll talk. Shut up, goddammit. No, I'll talk. Start to scare my step. If you don't like us, our business, this town, go to hell. I don't care. You don't belong here anymore. You'll become a piece of shit. Nothing else. Nothing. You regret it. Hello? Miss Anna, how are you? George! George! I think he left. I understand. You know how difficult it is to talk to him. I'll try to talk to him, Miss Anna. Okay, bye-bye. We are simple people, and we mind about simple things, things we can understand. She was a very reactive boy, stupid. I know his friends affected him a lot. She wasn't anything special. Are you ready, Abby? Right. Are you? Get over there, Steve. Are you ready, Steve? I think so. Yes or no, Steve? Yes, I'm ready. Roll camera. Scene 20, take one, sound two. Sound two. Action. You were a friend of Peter's. What can you tell us about him? Peter was a nice guy, quiet though. He rarely smiled. We lived in the same apartment for almost a year. Peter was a difficult person. He was cool, but every time I asked him about, about his parents, about his parents in Greece, he would change the subject. But I remember once when he was drunk,
Brooklyn. I, I like the fact that you're using amateur actors. You've never done that before. Peter told me about a serious fight he had with his father. There was a distance between them. He came to New York with Anna, an American girl he had met in Athens that summer. How did my mother get the studio's number? Give it to her in case something happens. We're not always home. George, when are you really going to tell me about this film? You keep asking me that. I've, I've got a lot of things on my mind. I'm tired of these... ready-to-wrap films they make every five minutes in this country. Do you think this is the right time? The time is relevant. Is your film relevant, too? Don't ask. I forget what I just said. It doesn't, doesn't matter. I don't think loneliness is creative. You should be more honest with yourself.
Ela adora que a moto tira a tocha. Esse é alítis, né? Esse é um alítis que tipo tal? Já está gênis a tropa, né? O louco tá a mupas. Pata cães do adífeto. Έτσι θα σε μια ζωή. George. George. Down 64. I met him in Greece. It was summer. A beautiful summer for both of us. We... We... Cut, cut, cut. Listen, dear, when you say he understood me, uh, try to be more intense. Give it some feeling, you know what I mean? All right, George, I'll try again. Uh, the man was crazy about you. Th think of it. Tr try to feel it. Okay, let's take it again. You gave her a hard time today. I think you had a hard time, too. I, uh, I just wanted more from her. The guys noticed your unusual reaction. You know, you don't work like this, George. I don't understand. I mean, you seem so preoccupied by something I can't explain. What exactly does the story mean to you? Why do you have to do it now? Does it have anything to do with your father's illness? Uh, you remind me of my mother sometimes. You, you dig around my mind. You go ahead with the crew. I'll stay around for a while. Δεν θα γίνεις άνθρωπο, ρε. Όλο κόντρα μου πας. Πάντα κάνεις το αντίθετο. Σαν 77. Did he really attend acting classes in New York? Yes, for almost two years, but he dropped out. He ran out of money. Anna had left him. Things just didn't work out. He was getting desperate, couldn't find a job, and didn't know what to do. I even told him to consider going back to Greece. Ha! My son, she wants to be an actor. 
this stupid fix are for women only. What happened after that? I don't know, George. What do you mean you don't know? Well, what is the guy back in Greece about, waiting George. for him to go back to? What kind of friend are you? You were supposed to help him. He's asking you for help. You tell him what to go back to Greece. About, George? It wasn't that... strict, was it? It doesn't matter, Steve. It's useless to know now. Maybe his father was right. out here. It's nice. Effie, I called the studio this morning. I, I told James to cancel the production. I don't want to finish that film. It's selfish to continue. How's my father, Effie? 